Hey, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I'm doing another Waves tutorial. Uh, there's been some great deals recently. One of the ones that can often get overlooked is Mondo Mod, and Mondo Mod is uh, several things. It allows you to use it as an auto panner. It's got three things: it's got an AM depth, a rotation, and an FM depth. So the AM depth allows you to create using different waveforms, different volume up and down effects, so basically amplitude modulation. Then we have rotation, which you see in the middle here, waving around there, uh, and that is pan from side to side, or all the way around if you want. It can go all the way, the range is entirely up to you. you can, as you can see there, you can just push that as far out, or as far in as you want it. And then FM is pitch, so that will give you kind of tremolo effects and stuff on organs. But I wanna show you on some dubstep stuff today, because it's really cool when you do some stuff like automating it. So I've got three things. I've got a bass, I've got a synth, and I've got a beat. And I want to show you on those three things. And then uh, you can go and play for yourself. If you're using it on other music, you could use it for great tremolo effects on guitars and chorus effects and auto panner. So it's got lots of different uses. But what I want to show you is how you can automate it to some really cool effects. I'll play you the track first with nothing on it. So let's just bypass all those effects and play them. <laughs> Now I'm going to put it in and you'll hear the difference. Let's put them all in. So let's first show it you on the beat. So let's just put the beat on. And all I'm doing with the beat is just adding some extra space and size to it. So I'm going to bypass it for a second. doing on it as you can see there's a bit of FM on it as well which is giving it that chorus effect and we're mixing it so I pull that back down again and the great thing is you can have them at different depths so the AM is giving us the side to side and the volume in and out the pumping effect And depending on how much you mix in then, so that's nothing. That'd be all of it, which is just a bit too wild. But about 30 to 40 percent, get a lovely bit of width in there. And if you want to make that uh, narrower, you can do that. Or wider. That's mad. Good in film work as well. Pull that gain down just a tad. Now let me show you on the synth next. So on the synth we have the Mondo mod. Take a little bit of uh, uh, side to side and uh, then a little bit of FM depth as well. So let me play you this on its own now. There's the original. Can make that wider again if wanted to. What you don't want though is everything flying. So you can have it spinning like that. What I don't want is it all of it too wide because then it all there's nothing left in the centre. There's the pitch changing. Now this is synced to our host, so it's actually doing it in time with the track. And we can freeform that if we want to turn that off and just do it manually. We've got at 1.25 times the BPM of 70. Hear those two together now. Hear them without again. Just adding some space and some depth there. In. Now this is where it gets really cool. Here's a bass. First I'm going to play you it without it, and then I'm going to put it back in for you to hear. So let's put that back on. 
It's because I've automated it on this space. So here it is without first. Okay, here we go then. As you can hear now, we're getting that kind of uh, that dubstep bass, that wobble bass, as uh, the wub wub, as some people call it. Uh, and it's very straightforward to do. As you can see, I've got this automated this time. So if you watch it going this time, you watch this go up and down. And if we actually go out to our track in Pro Tools, and you see me do automation before, and I drop down this track here now there, drop that down and come down to the base. It's called the X Factor. Nothing to do with the TV show, thankfully. Uh, what I've done is gone into automation here and I've chosen the, the, the times factor and pressed, jump gone there on this side, hit the add button and added it to the right. Now, that now means it's automatable within the plugin. And as you can see, I can then go through the track and I can draw in the, uh, the automation. So if we just turn it, just delete it out again. And I put this into right and we play it then I can start to automate uh, this uh, time on this so uh so there you go let's listen to that now let's put that back in touch in, sorry in, into read So as you can see, it could be as mad or as, as subtle as you want. And I could grab that then, I could just bring that back down a bit more. See that in the track now, the three, all, all three of them, all in together. them. So there we go, there's three uses for Mondo Mod. Uh, that's on dubstep, it could use it on electro, use it on all sorts of stuff, use it on uh, pop music, on guitars, on uh, Hammond organ, it's beautiful, on electric pianos. So it's uh, a really cool plugin and well worth checking out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.